Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number 14, 15, and 16 of exercise 14.4. In this, you have to find the error and then you have to correct it. Now, you have to multiply this with this, and in this, the answer is given as this. What he has done is he has multiplied a by a, which is a square, and 4 by 2, which is a. So this is the wrong method to do so. Here it is two terms and here also it is two terms and to multiply it you have to multiply each term with both the terms in the another bracket. This is same as I have already told you in the previous video multiplying 12 with 15. So here are two digits and here also there are two digits so you have to multiply first of all 5 with 2 which is 0. 5 with 1, 6 and then after that you have to multiply a with 2 and with a with 1 with 1 and then you have to solve it. Similarly, if you want to solve this, you have to multiply this first a with this term and this with this. After that, you have to multiply this another term with this and again with this. Then only it would be correct. So let's solve it. So a multiplied by a should give a square, bases are same, power should be added. Now a is multiplied by 2, so it should give 2a. 4 multiplied by a, it should give 4a. And 4 multiplied by 2 should give 8. So this is the correct expression. This and this are like terms because the variable is same. So these two can be solved. So plus plus is plus. 4 plus 2 is 6a and the other terms will remain as it is. So this is the correct answer for this expression, not this. Similarly, here also, if you want to solve, you can't multiply directly or you can say only one term with one, but you have to multiply one term with both the terms and similarly this term with both the terms. So now let's solve, multiply a with a, so this should give a square. Now a with minus 2, so 2a with negative sign. Now a multiplied by 4 should get minus 4a because minus plus is minus. Now a is multiplied by 2, so it should give minus minus is plus and 4 to the 8. This is I have already told that minus minus whenever multiplied will give plus. Now further solving it. This and this are like terms because here it is also a and here it is also a. The variable is same. These are like terms can be solved. Minus minus is plus. So 4 plus 2 is 6a with negative sign because greater value has negative sign plus 8 and this is a square. So this is the correct answer here. Now let's solve 16 question. In this case, it is given that 3x square upon 3x square, when cancelled out, it is given at equals to 0. But the answer should be 1, not 0. Because if I write it in factor form, or you can say if I expand it, 3 can be written as 1 multiplied by 3, and x can be written as x multiplied by x. Similarly here also, this is 1 multiplied by 3, and this is x multiplied by x. So, whenever this all terms are cancelled, but still 1 as a factor will remain. So, the answer here should be 1, not 0. So, this is how you can solve these questions. Thank you.